What's up everybody and welcome to Bricks and Toys. Today is the July shopping video. And since there's only three new releases, which I think one's the Bumblebee, two's the Brickhead's Iron Man, and three is the Lamborghini Countach, well, I figured, you know what, I would come back for a repeat store tour video because, well, I think there's only a couple people in line so far. And last month when I was here, there was like hundreds of people in line and I couldn't really show you guys the store all that well. So I kind of wanted to go back through, show you guys the new store with less people in it, show you some June releases now that there's less people in it, and um, pick up some new releases and show you what I picked up. So up next, guys, we're going to be getting into this store here in a, just a few minutes. And I'm going to take you guys around, show you guys the new, show you guys the last month, and show you guys the store with, hopefully, less people in it. So with that, let's get inside. Okay, well, we're back in the Lego store. As you guys can see, we're over here by the Stormtrooper. So now let's take some time, let's go over the store and let's talk about some releases that I recognize from last month. One of them is gonna be the Lion King Simba. I didn't get to show these all that much. We also have the smaller play one right down below it. I really think the Simba is gonna go well with the stitch, even though that they are two different classes. Here's it built. I mean, that is pretty cool. I'm pretty sure the Encano house was new to last month as well. Maybe the Frozen as well. This looks to be like their Disney section here at the store. And I think the flower basket is new as well of last month. Coming over here to this store display, we can see some Icons vehicles. We'll talk about that one in a second. But here in the window, we got some speed champions, all these look familiar because, well, I already have them all. The one I don't have that I'm excited to get, hopefully, is this one right here. You guys are going to see to the end of the video if I did pick this one up. But that is the new Quattrovole, or how the heck you say it. As usual, we have the Duplo section. More Disney and Friends over here. Let's see if I can point out anything new as of last month. Looks like they got Gringotts in the train in stock here which is really cool. There's the Buckbeak, we built that on the channel. Here's one I was thinking about getting for a short, which is the Potions class. I think the Hourly is new as well. They're still selling the uh, Hogwarts Castle here. Oh, this is another new one that came out last month that looked really cool. I really think that Giant's gonna be something special. One we still have to feature on the channel, but we have is the Triwizard Tournament, the Arrival. Coming over here, we got some dream stuff. I kind of backed out of doing the, the dreams. Coming over here, we got the city stuff. Again, I featured some of this stuff on my channel already, especially these smaller builds that are newer. I'm pretty sure the jungle stuff is new, like the plane down there, the truck. I'll let you guys get a good look. I don't see the ATV. I'm, well, I already have it, so that's all good. And we have more city stuff here in the store. We got the prison escape, which I believe this is one of the Easter eggs in the Lego delivery truck we just built a couple days ago. Then we're going to go over here to the movies and some city space things. I think the Minions came out last month or the month before. We have a cool little Lego play pit here. Over there in the Duplo play pit is my kids. They're having fun. We got another store display here with some friends and friends space. Not a big fan of the friend stuff, but my daughter sure is. And we may be actually breaking a lot of these sets out, down and parting them out on the channel between next month and this month. Here we have an awesome Technic display. This is where they had the Artemis last month. That Kawasaki looks pretty cool. I never really noticed that one before. And so does that McLaren Formula E. These are our, our promos of the month. Coming over here, here we have the new Bumblebee for $90. This comes out this month as well. I don't have Optimus, so I don't know how I feel about it. Here we have all of our trees and flowers and birds. It's nice to see all this stuff stocked up. A-frame cabin, medieval town square. I just had to get rid of mine. Video on that, I think tomorrow maybe, we'll see. Then there we got the Discovery. 
Here's a fun build right here from last month of Retro Radio. That one was really freaking cool. With the right case, the Orient Express looks amazing. Here's another build I wish to be doing this month, but I won't be able to. For dang sure, it's a Notre Dame. One thing that really gets me with this store is the wonderful displays. The displays are so good here. I believe a lot of them are the same. There's the Atreides Royal Ornithopter, or however you say it. I still want to pick one of these up just for my uh, backlog or, or my sets to save for one day. Over here, we got the vehicles, Speed Champions. I heard a rumor we're going to get two more next month. I really hope not because they already did too much this, this year. And there is that Quattrivoli for $180. Concord, such a sleeper build, Corvette. Then over here, we got more of those vehicles. And we got the, the display of the Corvette. Looks like they made the bumper into a mustache on this one. That's kind of freaking funny. I really love the store and how it's laid out. It's done really nice. <laughs> and we come over here to the Technic section. Here's another build we got coming up next month, or this month actually, that I'm really excited for. I've always kind of liked that off-road race buggy. I might have to look into that for a short one day. On the dream list is always that Ferrari. Then we come over here to Star Wars. There's the Razor Crest, $600. I'm gonna talk about that in tomorrow's video. Then we got some nice displays. And then we have some more of the UCS stuff up here in the 18 and older. Wonderful display. Now, I see the Bark Speeder from May. I see the Y-Wing from last month, and I see the Ambush Battle Pack, but I don't see the other one. I also see the Mech from last month as well. Then we have the Ghost and the Yavin 4. The Yavin 4 will be featured in tomorrow's video, well, as a topic. Oh, here's the other one right here with Paz Vizsla and Moff Gideon. There it is, from last month. And then we have another topic we're going to talk about, which is the Venador for 650 Remember these prices for tomorrow's video, everybody. For 600 for the Crest, 650 for the Venador. Coming over here, we got our heroes, our Batman art, which we passed up in April. And then we have the Bugle and the Sanctus Satorum that they still sell. I can't figure out why the resale on the Bugle is so low, because it's 350 new. Just let you guys get a little look at. Here we have our our mask and our all types of builds. Pick a brick wall. I won't be dealing with any of this stuff for the next few months, or maybe a year at this point. Our classic sets. Another set that's going to be a topic in tomorrow's video: El Dorado Fortress, Lion Knight's Castle. I was going to go for that one one day. No time soon due to what's happening on the channel. Coming around here, we got the question mark block and the Pac-Man set. This is like our video game section here. I think we're getting more Animal Crossing next month. Mario. We should be getting a new Mario 18 and, and older sometime in the coming months. Should be coming up real soon. Then the good old Ninjago. They're still selling the city gardens. Here we have the build a minifigure. I don't think I ever showed it from this angle. It was too busy last month. Then over here we have all of the brickheads, which reminds me we are missing one brickheads I was gonna pick up. This guy right here. And for giggles, I want to get the inside out ones too. There we go. So that is the store, everybody. Really well stocked. They got a lot of the new stuff in from last month. So cool to show you guys everything in its entirety. Now let's go out and uh, show you what I bought. Well guys, even on a budget, I have to say, Lego can be still expensive, but you know what? I broke up all of my purchases of, of between those two cards. I actually got some cool things to uh, show you guys. And well, right now we're in another part of the shopping mall in downtown Summerlin where the new Lego store is. And I'm letting my kids play in this jungle gym thing we're like right over here. And well, while they play, I figured I will show you guys the store hall instead of taking it back to the plain old studio. So let's uh, turn you guys around and show you guys what I have and tell you guys how much and why and all that good stuff without spoiling the videos coming soon. So on a lighter note, I got the Brickheads. I believe that these are from last month. 
of Joy Sadness and Anxiety, 40749. I got these because, well, this movie actually has just hit a billion in the box office, but that guy, Anxiety, well, I have chronic anxiety, like, about everything. So when I watch a movie, I really relate it to this dude, and I can't wait to uh, build these on a short for you guys. So from $20 on those brickheads down to $10 for this brickheads, we got the 40669 Iron Man Mark V. I'm happy that they made another Iron Man brickheads. Then right over here off to my side is Simba from last month. I wanted to get this one last month, but when I came back, I missed it, unfortunately. Set number 43247. This one is the 18 and older for 130 US dollars. As you guys saw in the video earlier, it all built. It is an awesome freaking set. And then last but not least, we got the Lamborghini Countach 5000 Quattro Valvole, or however the hell you say that last word. I'm going to have to Google that, everybody. 10337 coming at 1,506 pieces for $180. Well, you guys know why this is here. I love my sports cars, my supercars, and my cars in general, and I almost have all of these vehicles in my collection. Because I had to make two transactions on two separate cards, I did pick up two of these fireworks celebrations, 40689. So this is 184 pieces. It looks like it's got some fireworks and a little side build, then a center build with some sticker fireworks, some brick built fireworks. Maybe stick these on the Disney castle to accentuate it from what it had when it came out last year. We got two minifigures, a guy with a camera and looks like a kid with a wand. So yeah, not too exciting, but hell, we got two of these. So that is our haul, everybody. That is the store. I do want to make a little note here. I might need to be a little bit more careful while filming. I had a manager actually confront me for the first time like ever and tell me that Lego doesn't really like filming in their stores because of children. Well, I pointed out to her that two out of the four kids in the store are mine and I made sure to only try to capture them in the video, but you guys know what I actually caught in, in, in the video at this point, where at this point of filming, I don't even know who I got in my video. So, but it is true that two of the kids were mine. So I just thought that was a little funny and weird. And when it comes to rules, I like to respect rules, even if they are a little silly. But as a father, I really do take kids safety quite, quite hard. So I do understand that manager, even though I don't want to understand her so I can keep filming inside of the store for you guys. So on that one, everybody, that has been your store haul video. Up next on the channel, I think I'm gonna light a candle against a local Lego reseller here that goes with BAM. And um, be sure to check out that video tomorrow. I'm really nervous about releasing that video, but it's, it's kind of like the Titanic part two where I get very, very excited and very angry at that store. So with that, everybody, if you guys want to support the LEGO channel, right down below there's a thank you button. You guys can hit that and do a small donation. If that's not really your thing, you guys can just subscribe and follow along to everything that we do here. And as usual, like and share the video with your friends. Comment your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for watching and you all have a good one.